Okay guys, so I did something. I may or may not have made another trip to GameStop. Anyway, <laughs> um, I found this Series 3 Tamadachi Dolls. And before you say anything, yes. They were clearance. <laughs> Not as good as the last set I got where I got all of them for like two or three dollars a piece. They were clearance to, whoa, let me not throw them. Eleven ninety seven, and then they were an additional 50% off. So I got each one of them for about six bucks. Now what I have to show you is just one of each. We're gonna unbox it. Let's not throw them on the floor. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're going to unbox one of each one today. Now, last time I bought extras. This time I also bought extras. I'm not showing them to you guys because that's just too much to have on my desk at once. But I did buy extras because in case you didn't see the first unboxing video, of series two and three that I was able to find. Um, I plan on taking my extras and repainting them like other characters, not only so that I can have extra characters, but also so that I can use them on my O Gage train layout because they happen to be right at the size that I need. Well, they're close enough. They may not be perfect, but they're close enough to the size that I need for O Gage. And so then my brain gets moving and I'm going to be making buildings and everything. And essentially what I'm going to wind up doing in the long run is making my own Animal Crossing Island, but in real life, in miniature version. So if you want to see that, please think about subscribing because I'm actually really excited. I think it's going to be really cool. Plus I do what I think are cool things, but really probably just nerdy things. But anyway, let's get to unboxing. I'm going to start with our NPCs. Start with Blathers. So you can see there was series three. That's why these I think were a little more expensive. There are seven in the series. So there's the seven. I did wind up with all seven because I happened to call a couple of game stops and wound up with all of them. So let's open them up. These are so cute. I mean, I haven't seen the series three ones yet, but I love my series one and two so much. I'm still missing a couple. I'm missing Flick and a couple of others that don't. Remember off the top of my head, but that's okay. I will wind up with them eventually. There he is in all his fuzzy little glory. Our king of the museum. I wonder if they're going to keep doing these because I know that there hasn't been a lot of support for Animal Crossing lately, despite the fact that a lot of us still very much love and play the game. If you guys would like to see a tour of my most recent island, I am like this close to finishing it. Oof. So I'm really thinking about how the heck does this work? Oh, it's because he's got little feet. Okay, this stand is a little funky. I'm thinking it's just, yeah, he just slides onto it with his feet and all. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna do Celeste. Are you guys still playing? Like, okay, I still play. Not as consistently as I used to, but I still have tons of ideas for different islands and what. I'm just throw these on the floor and pick them up later. Um, I still have plenty of ideas, like on my little mood board or whatever over there. I have tabs, um, post-it notes full of, like, ideas for lots of things, but some of them are for Animal Crossing Islands. 
So that's one of those things I still kind of have plans for it. We'll see. I'm a little more excited, I think, about building the full size in person. New Celeste, does she have a little bit of a flaw right there? I'll probably be able to get my hobby knife in there and fix her up, but she's got a little bit of a something right on her her chest there. There's, in case you didn't notice, these are flagged her little bow. Her bow is not flagged. That's actually really cute. So there's Celeste. And go with her big brother bladders. I love Celeste. Celeste might be my favorite NPC. I don't know. This was my fiance's pig, believe it or not. This was John's pig. He likes Aurora. I would not have guessed that out of this series that that would have been his pig, but it was. I have had Aurora on one of my islands. I am a habitual restarter. Um. So I did, last year I had this winter island, and um, sorry, I was on there for a minute. Um, <laughs> I was doing this winter island, and I was I had started it like two, three months before, you know, I'd started it in like August or something crazy or June. It was it was early, way before winter. Let me slip her on there. There's a roar. Her shiny eyes and her little beak and her little toes. Oh, so cute. And so anyway, I um there's a Paolo. I was building it and then they announced 2.0 and I had gotten almost the whole thing done except for this one section kind of like right in the middle and I got so frustrated after 2.0 coming out where they were going to have all of these new things and I was like my whole island is pointless now. <laughs> The whole thing is just completely pointless. I would have to redo it with all of the new things from 2.0. So I deleted it and I wasn't even smart enough to save the dream address. So that island is lost forever. It's okay. I just wish, I think I took a couple photos. Um, it was a really nice penguin area. This is Apollo, right? I think so. Yeah, Apollo. He's looking good. His leather jacket is not flogged, which is kind of a nice touch. I love these so much. I'm like, so excited to have all of these. I didn't realize that jacket is going to be hard to paint over and make look like something else, but I'm sure I can figure it out. If I have to, I'll sand it down. Not on this one, to be clear. I want a single copy of all of the originals, but he does not want to stay on his stand. Anyway, there's a pile. Anyway, um,. So yeah, that island's gone forever. There's Goldie. I have not had her, but she is I don't know that I've ever had any of the dogs on any of my islands. I, I don't know. I'm, I am definitely a dog person. I have not got Bullet in here right now, though, because he's kind of loud. <laughs> he's a... Uh, French Bulldog Boston Terrier Max, otherwise known as Frenchton, and he just, he, he's not a barker, so he does, it's not that he's talking or barking or anything like that, he's just, I don't know, he makes a lot of noise, anyway. Oh, 
Oh, her little dress is just the sweetest, is it not? Oh my goodness. Oldie, you are too cute. Oh, oh I'm so excited. My intention with this 3D island is to make from scratch all of the buildings. Baby bow. Oh goodness gracious. So I've already made a nook's cranny, but I'm thinking I'm gonna probably redo it because I did it before I knew what my plan was. I built it just to build it. And so I'm probably gonna redo that. But, um, that I think is what's gonna be my miniature Mondays. I'm out of real life kids, so I'm thinking, well that just came apart nice. I'm thinking we might be working on these or because I have the uh, O'Gage Hogwarts Express doing some of the Hogwarts buildings. Um, not Hogwarts itself, that would be enormous. But maybe like Hagrid's Hut or uh, Honeydukes would be cool near the Hogsmeade Village. Oh, my baby. You baby bow. He's so cute. Oh, he's so fuzzy. I have to say, I'm more of an Eric person than a bow person, but bow is like right up there with him. I mean, look at that sweet baby. Oh, goodness gracious. And then last but not least, Judy. Now, Judy is currently on my island. My island is all, imagine it, like me, blue and purple and a little magical, a little mystical with a little hint of Harry Potter. So like I said, if you guys want me to do an island tour, I think I have a capture card around here somewhere. Um, we could we could definitely try to pull that off. I think that would be fun. I have a lot of plans for the new year though, so that's and lots to come here on the channel. I'm very excited about this is this being one of them. She got home. Oh my goodness, this little bear cub. So my island basically looks like this. <laughs> anyway, that was it. I just wanted a quick little, I had found these, so, and I'd shared the last ones with you, so I thought I'd share these with you too. Because they're cute and I love them. And I hope you guys like them too. I just wanted something really casual. Just you and me talking and opening Animal Crossing figures. That's all I've got for you today. I just, like I said, wanted to share them with you because I think they're cute. And anyway, um, if you like this video, please subscribe. This is not my typical content. Normally I just build things. But um, yeah, take a look at any of my playlists. Subscribe. All the youtube -y things that we're supposed to tell you to do <laughs> in every video. And I will see you guys next time. Possibly either repainting these. Some of the extras that I got anyway. And maybe making Able Sisters. That would be really cool. Although I don't think I have any of the Able Sisters. That's okay. We will make do. And I will see you guys next time. And until then, just remember... Why not you?